Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This your girl straight like that. Well, I'm going to give it to you straight like that. What's up, SLD crew? How's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone is doing good, honey. Staying safe and enjoying your life. All right, child, I'm back again today with another reaction video. Yeah, your girl is some days behind, but okay, better late than never. We're going to talk about your girl, my jazzy life, my trashy life. Now she's... Evicted like Jasmine put up a video and saying she's getting evicted. Child, what is going on? Is this a season for evictions? Everybody kids trying to get ready to go back to school, so y'all trying to go up in people's pockets because y'all trying to lie like y'all gotta move. We know we know for sure. Sky out of there. But Jasmine, don't play with us, girl. We ain't got time. Anywho. Before we get into this reaction video on my trashy life, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to the ones that always be here. Be in the comment section. Y'all know I'll be down there to chat it up. All right. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction video. Let's get it. Let's go. We in this beach. Finna get crunk. Abra's on fleek. The fuck. Drop that shit, DJ OJ. Yeah. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular, the man. I did not come to play with you hoes. <laughs> I came to slay, bitch. I like cornbreads and collard greens, bitch. Oh, yes, you best to believe it. <laughs> yeah, B. I love this shit. So let me talk my shit. Uh, Why you want to put people in my business? I said, damn, bitch. Oh, do y'all hear me? I hate when these girls do live videos. You know you finna go live. You're never ready. You're never prepared. Girl, you ain't never heard that saying, you gotta stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Uh, baby, I'ma need you to learn that. And why is you asking people, can they hear you? You're not even saying nothing, ma'am. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Good morning, y'all. I'm just taking my hair down because I need to wash it and it's got a lot going on. So I'm wait till people come in. I have a lot going on in so little time and I'm kind of just overwhelmed. And it's probably why I haven't posted a video yet, because it was supposed to go up yesterday. So people do the most, like the absolute most, like, and it's only so much the most a person can do before it affects, before it like starts to affect somebody, right? You know what irritates my spirits with these women? I mean, pretty majority, all the women that we react to, which all of us reactors pretty much react to on the same women. Some, you know, do, you know, uh, the other mommies and stuff like that. But it never fails that in any live chat, any video that these girls put out, they're going to always throw in the mix that people do the most but won't take accountability that they are the ones that put their life out here on the internet and, and they're doing the most. Because you can be a vlogger, you can be a content creator, you, you create whatever content that you want people to see. If you want to put piss poor, you're going to get piss poor as results. So all the stuff that you put on the internet, Miss Jasmine, 
That's on you. And you've been doing it for over 10 years. And you still ain't learned your lesson. So that let me know that, yeah, y'all need to be reevaluated. Like, y'all need to get y'all y'all mental checked. Because Sky was in her life. She didn't like what people were saying. Oh, you're going to get blocked. Anytime you say something that like, you're going to get blocked. Anytime you give your opinion, you're going to get blocked or ignored. So... If you put out decent content that makes sense that we can relate to, we you won't get all the backlash. You get backlash because you put out trash ass content. Make it make sense. Where are my brushes? I'm so So, um, I'm trying to figure, hold on. I'm trying to get myself together. I was going to go to the gym. I don't know if I'm going to go. Maybe I need to clear my mind. Maybe it'll help me think straight. Stop lying so motherfucking much, then maybe you can think straight. And uh, don't try to come up on here acting like your situation is so damn severe. Oh, you can't go to the gym. But you got 511,000 goddamn videos of goddamn me. You in there opening and closing your legs and running on the motherfucking treadmill. So, ma'am, don't do that. Yeah, people already know. Uh, exercise and do uh, kind of to depress the stress and kind of help you, you know, clear your thoughts a little bit. So, don't get on here with that. I was going to go to the gym. But... No, we don't want to hear it because you're going to come up with some bullshit anyway. Good morning. I know I look crazy. Hey, y'all. I'm selling lip gloss and it skills my hair. Y'all, if y'all want to try to look popular like mine, come holler at me. I have so much stuff and I'm just so, my anxiety is like on 10, so. That bitch is not that pressed about whatever the fuck she got going on. All this huffing and puffing, walk away from the camera, can't get your shit together. You knew you was going to take your motherfucking hair down. You knew you needed a comb and a brush to brush that shit out. Why we got to get all this bullshit before you even get into the mix? You already going to tell a motherfucking lie. You already finna tell us a bunch of lies. So, girl, go on, spill the motherfucking beans, honey. Because you getting on my nerve. Because, baby, I'm the editing queen. Like, I would edit all that motherfucking shit out. Bitch, I ain't got to sit here and watch your ass walk away from the camera. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my big one in my live voice. So, y'all, I have to move. Like I said, only so much out of that people can do that affects you. And mm, I get it. People like to call my landlord, call HOA, if, you know, helps them feel better. Let me say something about this ponytail. So, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to what she just said. So, you so so you plait your hair at night, take it down, and then you put it back up in a bun. You didn't even have to use a comb or a brush. And your girl's walking around here with no hang time, hair doing the absolute fool. And then you sitting up lying about, oh, their hair going to get done and get some raggedy ass crochet braids. Your girls can't even get the cute braids. Girl, get the hell up out of here. And I'm baby. And why is this camera gotta be at the angle where we looking up down them damn nostrils of yours? Cause them bad boys is big. And baby, and I ain't got it to do. Alright. And uh why we on here playing the blame game? Uh what the people got to do with uh calling the HOA and you tired of people doing the most and um you know reaching out to uh to these people and you gotta move. No, if you gotta move, that's on your ways. That ain't on the people. That's on you. You on the lease. You live in that goddamn house. That's on your ways. See, I don't I don't know about all this 
moving stuff, evictions and shit like that. Because I'm not even going to hold you. I ain't never had to deal with none of that shit. Because you know why? Because I've always been the type of person. I'm going to pay where I stay. And I'm, I'm if I'm going to stay there for a while, I'm doing a lease to me. So how it is, the last house I stayed in, I stayed in that house for 14 years. Then I'm in this new house that I live in now. Been here for seven years. I ain't that bitch that like to move. You feel me? I gave up apartment life a long motherfucking time ago. Okay? A long time ago. And it was, and I thank God for it because it was nice just only paying the lights and, 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 and what, internet and cable or whatever the hell else I was paying. That shit was cool. But I'm on my grown woman shit right now. So, you know, I, I pays the bills. All right? But, uh, Jasmine, don't get on here with that fuck shit trying to put this shit off on nobody else. This your responsibility. You let Chris talk your ass into moving into that expensive ass house. And you know you're a lazy ass content creator as you call yourself. So that mean you know in order to create and make your money, you got to upload, upload, upload. And that's something that you don't like to do. You half ass it with that. But then you want to get on here and play the blame game. Baby, I cannot with these women on YouTube. Baby, they're a different breed, and I don't know where the fuck they come from, okay? Helps them feel better. Helps them sleep at night, I guess. I don't fucking know. But continuously making reports so that, that they can get fined. It's just sad. Jasmine, they continues to be reporting to the HOA to you to get fined back to back to back to back. You got to, you getting evicted because of fines. Okay. So I live in the HOA subdivision as well. One thing about them is they don't play. It don't play when it comes to the yard, the way that house is, them fences. You 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 gonna have to fix that shit. You gonna have to fix the problem. Now, how somebody else gonna be reporting shit to the HOA when bitch they got management that you know scout the properties, you know ride up in the neighborhood checking shit out. That's how they be seeing it, and then then they take pictures of the shit. That y'all need to be cut, they're going to put a note on that motherfucking door and put it in that mailbox. I do know that for a fact because it happens to me. Okay. Um, they don't play. Um, now, you don't own that house. You you a renter. So, they not reporting you. They reporting to that landlord that owned that house. So... Only thing I can see him reaching out and telling Jasmine to take care of it. Hey, you need to handle that because HOA said that y'all need to be cut. You not cutting the grass, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All you got to do is get, out, get your ass out there and cut the grass. Now, I did see a video that she did where she was out there cutting the grass. The brother helped her kept, uh, cut the grass as well. One thing about it, when Chris had first left Jasmine, y'all seen how Jasmine left that yard looking a hot ass mess like that house didn't even belong to that motherfucking neighborhood. Now, whatever fuck going on behind that motherfucking fence, they can't see it and they don't give a fuck. I know some motherfuckers got grass taller than uh, they motherfucking gate damn near, but, them, but you can't see it from the streets. But that front yard, front area that ain't fenced in, yeah, they can see that shit. So, she did make an effort to cut the grass. So, I'm not understanding how is somebody fault if it's about the grass or whatever the situation is. Jasmine just on here dry begging on the coop. See, it's real close to the time for the kids to go back to school. So, Jasmine needs some money because Jasmine don't want to spend her money. Let's be honest. She does it all the time. It's funny how Jasmine get on the internet and she dry begs for money and get the people on her team to feel sorry for her. But also in the same breath, she'll still rub it in your face. Go get her ass shots. Get all the stuff that she likes. Her CB4s and her T's and everything that she likes. She gonna run it to that store and go get it. But she not gonna run and go get her kids a motherfucking thing. She gonna run take legend to get his haircut, get his kicks, get his ears pierced. Yeah, she gonna do all of that type of shit. 
But now it's so close to school getting started. Here you come with this bullshit. You got to move. From my understanding, I thought she had re-signed another lease. Okay? And then another thing, I thought that Jasmine was going to downsize on her own time because she had been looking for a place. I even seen her video. She wouldn't show none of the houses because she said she don't want nobody to know. Uh, you know, she's not going to put that on the internet anymore, but all in the same breath. So why are we here? Why is this video even up on the internet that you got to move if all this other stuff then took place already? Like, I'm not about to sit up here and do no hour-long video on this bitch on some bullshit that she doing this all about begging for money. And then she trying to throw her weight around this video acting like she got a nasty-ass attitude like she about to buck and do something. You ain't booked and did a motherfucking thing to Olivia, so this shit right here means nothing to me. Okay? I'm trying to stay calm and try not to overreact because I know myself, y'all. I will overreact. I will start crying. And so I'm trying to like not get there right now. Like I'm really trying to stay level headed and not freak out. So yeah, I have to move. Ooh, nobody gives a shit. They said a lot of stuff. It's just what they're saying to get my landlord fines and it's just so much and they're just done. Fireline. 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 So I have to leave my house. I have so much stuff. I don't even have money to leave right at this moment. Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. I have so much stuff I have to do. And I'm like, you know how you just sit and you look around? And I'm just like, damn. I don't think I'm going to be able to take this. I don't think I'm going to take that. I don't know. But I have to find somewhere to go. Within a week. Or two. <clears throat> this lady is fucking pathetic. Girl, you sitting up here playing these people face about you got a week or two. You so you don't have a definite time when you gotta be out of there. So a uh, complaints were were uh called in to HOA. So they told your landlord, oh that person right there gotta get up out this house because uh-uh. They not taking care of their business with the house. The yard looking mess. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We getting a thousands of calls talking about it. So, do the people uh, take phone calls and say, you're not keeping up the yard? Or do they come see for themselves? I'm not understanding it. Then she simply told me she got about, a, what, a week or two? Okay, then you and Sky's like, y'all need to get together and hubble up and figure out what the fuck y'all going to do. Because uh, we ain't got it to do. And we ain't got no money to get your ass to help you move. They act like other motherfuckers that watch them not paying their internet for them to watch the YouTube shit. Not paying their bills to have a place to live. Because anybody that's about to be homeless, evicted, baby, they would not be up on no live, live streams. Talk to a bunch of motherfucking strange motherfuckers. Baby, they'll be trying to get their mind right and stand on business. Find them somewhere to go. Get them boxes in and, and check. Cause baby, that's, we we black folks, we good. But uh, don't throw them boxes away. Let me come get them boxes. So you on the live stream, but uh, you need some boxes to pack up that nasty ass house. Girl, the fuck, bye. And <laughs> the level of stress that I'm under right now, it's crazy. You know, when you wake up and you just thinking that you have a plan and you're about to do something when you leave and you get, and then it's like, this is going to have to happen. <laughs> when the people that are the ones will say that they'd like to call my, you know, landlord and them, they're doing stuff like this. I just be wondering, like, 
what do you get out of it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what did you benefit from this? You know the crazy part about the whole situation with her and all the rest of the ladies? They be really on here, really low key. I'm not going to say it ain't no bitter people out there that probably would call and, you know, do things, you know, to hurt her or whatever else or hurt them or whatever. I, I'm not going to say that's not possible. But for that be your only damn thing to go to every time something happened and when you get on this on a live stream and talk about your your uh personal business about your living conditions and your money woes you love to blame that on other people but you never take accountability that you waste money on bullshit let's start there and on top of that you have been for the past couple of months with all the bullshit between you Livia and all the other little stupid ass lives that you didn't got your little coin up and uh allegedly you supposed to make twelve thousand dollars a month you mean to tell me you sitting on a live stream trying to dry bag for money to help your ass move? Girl, you you are really <laughs> a motherfucking piece of work. And nasty work at that. Baby, this in this world of sin, baby, it's for the needy, not the greedy. Your motherfucking ass be being greedy about anything when it comes to you and when it comes to your children. You have to ask with your kids, but when it comes to you, you want to be super straight. You know what I'm saying? You 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 feel like, oh shit, they watching me. They support me. Well, hell, they can help me pay my motherfucking bills. If I got to move, they can help me move. If I got to buy school clothes, they can help me buy that. Girl, ain't nobody obligated. Girl, no baby daddy's not even obligated. Because first of all, let's start with Chris. Chris don't do shit for legend. You can get on this motherfucker and say, what Chris do for legend? Behind the scenes, all the fuck you want. Chris ain't doing nothing for legend. He ain't reached out to y'all because at the end of the day, if he loved his son so motherfucking much, he wouldn't give a damn about your internet like how he was when he was in the hospital, how he used to talk shit. What would make you think he'd give a fuck now? He wouldn't care if the motherfuckers knew he was coming to see his child. He already got mad at the whole situation. Oh, he was down with the internet shit at first. He was down with the vlogging with Jazz and Chris and extra jazz whatever the fuck it is he was down till the motherfuckers start giving him nicknames and talking about his motherfucking ass oh he already know they dragging him through the river by not doing shit for legendary oh baby live over there yeah they feel some type of way about your ass you are considered as a deadbeat get in line with livy poo both you bitches think that child support is a motherfucking scam so you hoes belongs over there in the nosebleed section Two dumb motherfuckers together. And let's not get up off of motherfucking Philip. Foggy frog looking ass. First of all, Philip, you had them kids more than Jasmine do. What's your apparatus on the whole situation with your kids the way they be fucking looking? And poor Maya, I mean not Maya, Ava looks sickly as fuck. And obviously you're you're not teaching them kids nothing either, because uh Aiden ain't straightened up, but your ass don't want them to take that medication. Oh, okay. You got more say so behind them kids than Jasmine. She don't say shit. She just go with the flow. You know why? Because she didn't want to be bothered with them. So she was okay with, oh, less than a damn child support money. That's how dumb she is. Girl got graduated in high school and got a little college behind her ass. Even though a lot of people uh, question that shit because definitely is questionable. She dumb as a motherfucking box of rocks. She don't have a motherfucking clue. That bitch that's out here in the space just moving and grooving and life is passing her ass up and, and dogging her ass out at the same motherfucking time. She thinks she doing her big one because she lost weight. Jasmine, you're not the first weight loss success. Baby, Richard Simmons is the weight loss guru. You know, rest in peace to Richard Simmons who lost all that weight. He was a big nigga. Lost all that weight. Kept that weight out for years. Here you come. You done got a shot up in your ass and and, and, and study drinking energy drinks, popping fentanyl and all this extra shit. Your skin done broke out. You do all kind of extra shit, Peppermint Patty, on this motherfucker. And you still think that people owe you money. When you said this YouTube channel was your job. Bitch, I'm need you to do your job and get your coin. Because, girl, it's giving... 
You want somebody to take care of your broke down ass, but you don't want to ask them niggas that procreate them kids with your ass. You don't want them hoes to do nothing. Girl, get your ass up out of here, Jasmine. Like, what was your end goal in this situation? Like, are you happy now? You know? So, I haven't been bothering no freaking reactors. I haven't been bothering anybody. I've been to myself. Here she go. She ain't been bothering nobody. But I've been to myself. I ain't been bothering no reactors, girl. And you just the other day going back and forth with Livy Pooh. So, girl, stop the cap. You've been on this internet. You've been surfing this motherfucker looking for all kind of shit. You trying to smother up and find ways that you can try to finesse that money out them motherfucking people. Don't bring up the motherfucking reactors. They ain't got nothing to do with your tri trifling ass or your fucked up ass life that you trying to provide for them damn kids. Piss poor. Girl, say that shit for somebody else. You and Livia, all you motherfuckers, a bunch of dumb ass hoes. This pull-up is still good. And another thing. Baby, potty train your son. Now you finna pack up and move. And you gotta pack up the pull-ups. Girl, you all this time, you been doing a whole lot of nothing. Girl, you could have been potty training legend, whining ass. Because baby Lou is a fool out here with that whining. And how he act towards them other goddamn siblings. Girl, please. You up in them this pull-up still good, bitch. Trying to sack and save them hoes. Oh, he ain't pissing them. Oh, he can keep this on. Guarantee you that motherfucker wet. She just gonna keep it on because she a cheap bitch. You know, she cheap when it come to them chilling, but she ain't cheap when she come to her damn self. I don't know. They just keep calling the calling back to back. Stop it now. Back to back, back to back, back to back. Saying different things, saying different. And <laughs> what are they getting at? I, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you what they're getting out of it or what anybody's getting out of it. Or Luckily, they're not going to penalize me and put it on my credit, but they just, they want me out. They want me out now. They want me out last, last year, basically. Concern, and I say this with the highest level of disrespect. The gig is up. And a lot of y'all don't even know that y'all are bums. A lot of y'all don't even realize y'all leeches. Y'all just lay up on y'all ass, flat back, do whatever the fuck it is y'all doing. And y'all watch motherfuckers work. Well, guess what? The rent is due. The bills are around the corner. And the landlord is pulling up. I have nothing for no one. The fuck? I don't have it. I'm tired. I'm tired of having motherfuckers that don't even try to help themselves. Take a bag. Go get your shoes. Girl, for the love of God, please stop calling him Tinkerbug. Baby, it's Baby Lou. Ordinary. <laughs> what is that of Gary Coleman? What's that George uh um Jefferson? Yeah. Uh Tinkerbug. That ain't gonna work for us. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. You will never find blom 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 a hairline like mine. It's not even what they're saying to the landlord. I guess it's what they're, it's a lot. Like, he sent me a whole fucking list. It's what they're doing when they call, it's, it's deeper than them. Hold on, let me fix it, because it's diaper. He ain't even use it, I don't know why. Even. Fuck all that, we don't give a damn about that diaper, that pull up, whatever the fuck you talking about. So your landlord sent you a bunch of, a bunch of shit that was said, but you just said a few minutes ago that the landlord wanted you out that house like last year. Girl, stop fucking playing with us. Please stop. The HOA and all the, it's the fines. Or that, 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 I think whenever it starts affecting them, I don't know, I'm trying to, and they're getting fined. Oh, shit. And they're getting fined for it. That's whenever they're like, okay. They're just saying anything. I think one of them said, I'm not cutting my grass properly. <laughs> and they sent a screenshot from my vlog of me cutting my grass. 
to um, HOA, and of course HOA sent it to him. <laughs> and I can tell it's my vlog. And I told him that, I'm like, sorry, that's, that's from my video. Like I know, I know what I've recorded, you know? The, uh, this girl got me in confusion because girl, I don't give a fuck who cut your grass. As long as that grass is cut. A lawnmower is designed to knock the grass down with that blade under that. Uh huh. When you put gas in that motherfucking crank it up, yeah, it knocks that grass down when it didn't grow up. Like how your yard looked at once upon a time when Chris left, how fucked up it looked. Now, nah, since it can't be looking like that, I, I, I'm, I'm very aware of what I record. So, um, I had to come up with money in order to move to find a place or even to find something and i'm not asking for nobody i'm asking just if anyone can help miss thing no hell no fuck no bitch no help i'm not asking for no big donation just anything i mean i gotta figure out like even if i gotta pay somebody up to move my stuff just a random person because movers hey. Like, I even tried to see how much it would cost to move. I didn't know, because I think I haven't paid for a mover in so long, and I paid $300, but these, I called, and they were quoting me six to $700 to move. And on top of that, I'm like, damn, I got to either find a place or a storage. And the storages are expensive, too. And so I'm like, and, you know, my other kids, they're fine, y'all. Like, they have... You know, I spoke with their dad, so they're fine. But, you know, I still got a baby with me. So I'm just like. Jasmine, I got a question. Now, YouTube, they get their checks around with the 21st, 20th, 21st, whatever. So we're at the end of July. So it's after your payday with YouTube. So what did you do with that money? Did you pay your rent already? Because the way it seemed like it's set up is you pay your rent at the end of the month for the first of the month so what did you do with that did you already pay the rent have you paid the rent or do you still have that money in standing since you know you've been on here clocking tees with this uh content and uh even though i know her shit at the bottom of the barrel and she ain't really doing her views ain't really viewing that she back and forth with that lady over there yeah but what you do with that money okay so sitting here telling us about you ain't moved in a long time last time you paid three hundred dollars to move now it's expensive to move oh store you might have to put your shit in storage that's expensive uh newsflash dumbass do, 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 uh bitch everything went up mm -hmm. not only we be complaining about the groceries and the bitch, bitch everything went up uh -huh. yeah yesterday's price ain't today's prices so don't sit here with your dry bagging ass, come on, you need a little help. No, you better get on your greasy with your OnlyFans channel. You better get that to popping. You done lost your motherfucking weight. You better go file child support on your baby daddy. And my thing of it is, um, so your landlord just wants you out the house without uh, a 30 day notice, a, a 60 day notice, or no shit like that. So you just got to bamboozle on up out of that. You ain't go to court. You 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 ain't did nothing. So you just got to get your ass on up out of there. Now Sky's life situation is kind of different. See, Sky been over here low key paying her her rent to the courts, and uh, them people wasn't feeling her ass because she a little nasty motherfucker. And since she was on a government assistant type thing, so yeah, her situation would be different. But she getting booted up out that motherfucker. And she only, they only gave her ass a week. You said you think a week or two. You don't even have a definite uh, timeline when the fuck you supposed to be out of there. That's how I know your ass and up here lying. Oh, but we're going to see if you're going to move. Or you want to be still doing videos in that house. And if she is, her motherfucking whole channel need to drop down to 20K. You don't need no 60 some thousand damn followers. To follow your dumb ass and all you do is sit on this platform and lie your ass off and beg for them people money like it is everybody else don't have bills paid. Girl, first of all, we're in the state of Texas. And I know a lot of your followers was from, is from a whole lot of other places. 
Bitch, we went to Stormboro. A lot of people was out without power for days. People lost all their shit in their freezes, including myself. Lost all their shit. Suffering in the fucking heat. If they didn't have nowhere else to go, where the power was at. They still had to come back home, clean out their freezers, buy new groceries to put in their shit. And you think somebody got some money to get your ass like money growing on trees. Bitch, we ain't out here working for our money to get to no bitch named Jasmine. Jasmine dumbass dukes. Are you fucking kidding me? Girl, you don't get your pimple patches, spotty face, chocolate chips or her ass up off my motherfucking screen with that bullshit. You didn't stink a bug. I don't give a fuck if you can't find your shoes. I don't give a fuck if you bring you some flip flops. Bitch, the point is, you on this whole big. And I ain't got it to do. He didn't brought me slides. Even though I was going to put on some tennis shoes or something. Yes. Thank you, baby. No, it's more. I'm, I'm giving you like one thing that I saw. And I just was like, what the fuck? But a lot of stuff, like whenever it was a screen, I'm saying like there was a screenshot <laughs> from my vlog. And so, <laughs> that was just the, the last one I saw, honestly. Because he sent me a couple of emails. Yeah. Back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene. And I'm just like, I'm not, I mean, shit, right now I'm trying to figure out what my next move is. If I could find a place or like, are we going to be in a hotel? Like, you know, I'm trying to figure that out right now. Um, but I already have my mind made up. Like, I won't do no house tour. I won't, like you said, I'm not going to show anybody the front of my house. None of that shit. Like, because this is ridiculous. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. The level of I'm about yeah. to call her landlord and call, I mean, call. yeah. <laughs> girl, first of all, I don't give a fuck if you never show nothing where you stay at. I wouldn't give a damn, girl. You really gonna sit here and and put this off on the people that's on the, that watches you on the internet? But you just said the landlord said that he wouldn't put the shit on your motherfucking credit. He gonna let you bow out gracefully, but you still trying to put it on the internet. Wow, this is really strange. You a strange ass individual. You and Lizzy Poo, with all the shit going on in y'all, like y'all still find the time to talk on <laughs> y'all platform to a live stream of strangers. Y'all hoes don't know them bitches, murderers, killers, rapists. Y'all don't know none of that shit about none of these motherfucking people. But you tell them all your personal business. But now it's I, I. Next house, I won't be doing no house tours, bitch. I wouldn't give a damn. And it, 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 it don't matter what the hell you do. Your shit will start out being looking real nice. But in the midst, when you move your nasty ass up in there, you get up in there and fuck it up. You and your damn kids. Girl, so we don't give a fuck. Bitch, we got our own shit and our own place to live. And it ain't nasty. And it ain't disgusting. That's your motherfucking ass if you don't want to do a, home, a house tour with people. Who even cares? Dummy, you so invested with the motherfucking internet, you won't even get on the internet and even look for you a little job. You should have had you a job and let the internet be your side shit. You didn't even want to do that. People didn't gave you that suggestion. Oh, my God. 5,100,000 goddamn times, and you still think that that's a joke, that that's some bullshit. But what you think we think about you sitting up here explaining this bullshit that's a lie to us just to get money out of our pockets? Girl, what are you? Somebody's motherfucking damn? Girl, if you don't get your ass up out of here with that. Hey, are you hungry? So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with all my food. That I have. I'm probably going to let Philip take some for the kids.
wherever they can fit over there. I know. I wish I wouldn't have put my full name. <laughs> you know, when you sit and it's already set in and you look back and you be like, damn, I wish like that I gave people names that wasn't our name. But at the same time, I'm like, damn, that means we would have to implant that in our mm. mind. Hey, don't say, mm. you know, my name. Don't say no. Kaylin. Don't say Amaya. Don't say, you know. Take your fucking L and shut the fuck up. You look stupid. And I'm like, could kids do that? Like, implant something like that in their mind? No, he don't have He doesn't have them full time. They actually come back home today. You really gonna be feeling some type of way about your situation when they come back. Because, baby, they adds to your problem, baby. You don't know how to solve problems and be a mommy at the same motherfucking time. Bitch, you be all over the place. Been a mommy for, what, 11, 12 years. And still don't know how to multitask with the kids, with situations, whatever. She don't know how to do that. She lost in the motherfucking sauce right now. Child, she need to get it together. My mind is like all over the place. So, yes, if anyone can help donate to my unexpected move, I do appreciate it. If you can't, that's fine. Um, Fuck no. And I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna stand on it. I have to figure out something as far as how I'm gonna move, what I, when I'm gonna move, where I'm gonna move, and how I'm supposed to do this in this amount of time. I'm out here struggling. I'm out here homeless. I don't have nowhere to stay. Nowhere. You should have moved when you had, I didn't have enough money to move for tax money. I had to get a car. I think people forgot that too. And I didn't get a lot. Girl, now, whoever put that uh, comment in, in her chat, uh, thank you. Uh, you should have moved when you got your motherfucking tax money, regardless. If you say they want you out that motherfucker like last year, sis, well, you should have zapped like motherfucking cast with a friendly ghost. We don't give a fuck. And yep, bitch, you ain't got enough money to move. Jasmine just full of shit and trying to hold on to the little house because that's the house that her and Chris went and looked for and started a, a family in. That's all this shit is about. She holding on to motherfucking memories. Bitch, fuck the memories in that house. Girl, bye. I'm not here for this motherfucking pity party with this dumb bitch because I don't give a fuck what she going through because, bitch, if I was a millionaire, I wouldn't throw this hoe a hot dollar. Because, girl, you need to grow the fuck up and get on your grown woman shit and do better in your life with your finances and with your fucking children. And, bitch, trust and believe, there's a lot of motherfucking help out here. All you need to do, sis, is chile your ass somewhere and get you some motherfucking resources and get you some help with money management. Because, bitch, you don't manage them coins right. Because you definitely got enough money to fucking move. All you needed was a motherfucking deposit. First month rent, pay the motherfuckers move to put your shit up in that motherfucker. So don't get on here with that bullshit. You didn't get enough. You had to get a car. And let's not leave out the fact that you went and bought a, a computer. You bought a brand new camera. You, you bought yourself a lot of things with that money. We didn't see you do shit with your kids, but you bought a lot of things. Oh, don't leave out the food. Oh, yeah, baby. You and Legend was big time eating. Y'all was big time beat. You bought all your shit for the gym. You, Girl, you did a lot with your tax money. So don't try to act like you didn't get a lot and your motherfucking ass uh, only had just enough for the stuff that you needed. Girl, get out of here, Jasmine. Get the fuck out. Might as well say, people thought that I got a lot of money because of this. You know, it's funny. Because I made that post and get $10,000. I see it on Facebook and I just reposted it. That's the thing. You got to repost things. And I get that in taxes. Come on now. And there you have it. She just said she posted that shit on Facebook. And people took it and ran with it. That's why you got to be careful what the fuck you upload, ma'am. Yeah, if anyone could, 
I don't care what, if you can donate anything, either towards movers or I don't fucking know. Really, at this moment, what, towards movers? Damn, bitch, that's how you asking. I don't know, towards fucking movers? No, you need to be sincere when you want some help. Cry, break it down, sis. Get on the floor. Shake a stinky leg. Do something. No, you don't just tell nobody, I don't fucking know. Girl, bye. Another house. Near another place. Cause fuck, I don't care what I get at this point. No, not another house. You better go get your ass a motherfucking apartment or a townhouse. Something your ass can handle. No, you don't need to move no another house, baby girl. You already got to move up out of there because of motherfucking HOA regulations. You want to go up in another house? <laughs> girl, if you don't get your ass up out here and go find something else to do besides bed, damn. At this point, it's whatever falls in place I can get. My credit's so bad. I have to pay some. No. Jasmine, you ain't just found out that credit fucked up. You been knew that credit was fucked up. Yep. You damn sure right about that part, baby girl. You sure is going to have to unask a little bit more money for somebody to fuck with you. Other than that, that's what you get for being a big dummy. We all in the by the wayside and had some shortcomings, but I ain't gonna let them other son of a sucker fuck up my credit. If I'm gonna fuck that credit up, it's gonna be on me. So I can't be mad at nobody but myself. It's called me, myself, and I. You decide here begging for love and every motherfucking thing else and let these ninjas fuck up your damn credit. Who's to say Chris still got that truck? As long as he been gone and he on his little good job as they say baby he probably wrote him a brand new ass car with no problems and no spotlight on his ass so girl <laughs> do better in my niche mama voice i'm going to this place to see if i can get help to try to find some place but this has to stop at some point some people out here struggling I wish our Section 8 waiting list was open. I should just never open. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Jasmine, sis, you about 10, 11 years too late. You should have been cop your ass on Section 8. When Philip asked, left your ass high and dry and went to jail, yeah, you should have been focused on that back then don't try to look for section eight now because one thing about it i ain't never heard nobody say emergency um section eight unless it was a real critical critical situation this ain't critical this is just some dumb ass bullshit right here this some bitch that ain't taking care of her beating some fuck up and some dry begging and some fucking fucking lying this what this is this is not section eight worthy <laughs> They never call back. They don't. I applied for it and they never call. I applied for it years ago. I didn't get no contact back. And I tried calling, but that shit's just. Jasmine, did you know how many? Section 8 recipients in the state of Texas. Do you have to look up shit and do your research on anything? Of course, if you on the waiting list, you on a long ass waiting list. It's a lot of motherfucking people live in Texas. And there's a lot of motherfucking people that live in Texas need that shit. Unless <clears throat> your city is is, is uh, having a um what do they call it? A uh, um uh, lottery type situation when they pull names and you just be a lucky motherfucker and get your name pulled. Yeah, sis, you're going to be dry sitting in that motherfucker for some years. What you should have done was when you got pregnant with Caitlin, you should have applied back then. Made a chance, you would be on Section 8 by now if you wouldn't have been lost it. If you wouldn't be in a position of losing it for being a dumb bitch. But uh, all the same, bro, you can't call them people and uh, hey, what, what are they on the list? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in Section 8 real bad at all. You've been on YouTube all these years. Here's the answer to your problems. 
So if you got a high school diploma and you uh, allegedly have uh, college uh, knowledge, supposedly, while you out here trying to start up a basketball career, you should have left you a good job, sis. You can go back to do some more classes. Updated that goddamn degree you got to sit over there in them trains. You could have been working. And if necessary, and really in all fairness, the way shit is now after COVID, you could have been working from home. You, you definitely could have been having a remote job at home. Well, you didn't even have to be at home. You could have been a stay at home mom, work from home mom. No, you sit there and you talk shit to other people when they tell you that, you feel like, I don't, I got a job. This YouTube is my job. But then technically, technically, YouTube is up and down. You, you got to really be on your shit to make some money off YouTube. I'm just going to say it. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some people out there with some small channels that do very well. They make them a nice check, but that ain't what they depend on. That's the shit they do on the side. That's imagine when they put their all into it. And the ones that that's how they survive off of it. They don't put their... Look at uh, Queen of Kings over there. That lady put up nothing bullshit. I ain't got time to be with her for her because she does the most and I don't like the way she looks. She irritates my spirit. Then she get on my nerves with that big white ass monster that she got over there for her husband. She a hot mess, but she over there racking up them little fucking things on her ass and it be bullshit. But she racking it up. She know she got a... Uh, Pay the cost for that meeting over there in Hawaii because it ain't cheap. So if you want to be that girl, you should have been down for no shit. Don't burn yourself, got you a job, work your ass off. You pay for what the fuck you want. No, Jasmine got a business spirit, so we know she must get that from her dad. But if your dad must be a lazy motherfucker because since I've been going on the internet, it's always her mama always been the one that work and shit. And then my niece had a good job working for the state. I don't know if she's still doing that because she didn't have a lot of shit going on with her help. But she, my niece works good jobs. Bought a house. What the fuck? What you asking me that mentality from? Her daddy. Just people contacting HOA. Just know it's resorting to my landlord getting fine. And then it's, and it's multiple times. Like, and it's like, what are you getting out of it? Like, <laughs> I don't know you. You don't know me. I be minding my own business. Like that shit is weird to me. Like, it's I be minding my own business, and I'm kind of just. I don't know. Like I knew something was up, and then. Hey, the wrong started that motherfucking crying. Shut the fuck up, girl. First of all. I'm tired of hearing this bitch repeat the same stuff. Jasmine just saying this, repeat the same stuff over and over and over and over and over and over. Then people can get on there. They can tell Jasmine they understand the situation. They been through the same shit. You a motherfucking lie. The shit that Jasmine is putting out here on this internet about having to move out their damn house is made up ass bullshit. And I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I didn't have to watch nobody else's reaction to figure it out. I just feel like she is on some bullshit because she thinks she tells her audience that she got a move she don't have the money with. She thinks they want to help her out because they have done the shit in the past. And she thinks it works all the time. She'll come on here with being sad as fuck and they be like, she can't get it together and they're going to help her. News flash, bitch. Everybody kids finna get back to go to school. Everybody ain't fortunate to all their kids to graduate or, or they got kids that are not in school. Everybody not on that level, ma'am. You sitting up here with four kids that go to school. To be honest with you, let your ass from be three years old. Baby, you will be sitting up in somebody motherfucking daycare or something. People trying to tell you that. Just you don't listen. So these type of situations you're going to go through, worried about what somebody telling the landlord, and you figure, oh, they don't know me. No, no, I know nothing. Bitch, y'all put all y'all business on the motherfucking internet. Y'all put everything about y'all self on the internet. I don't give a fuck how deep it is, how personal it is. Y'all put it on the internet. Now, let her be getting into it with Mill's life. Baby, she'll be on this motherfucking big ass on her motherfucking chest. Red, red, a keyboard gangster 
I mean, the mother made me lie, because she definitely ain't gonna get up and give me a cheat and book me. So, you now you want people to have a sympathy for you. But wait till you look like get you crying over that little shit. Yeah, she gonna be back over there talking about your ass, and y'all gonna be back in the room trying to raise them motherfucking views up. This all you guys do, y'all repeating cycles. This all y'all do, y'all have nothing else going on with y'all self, you built it. Now Jazzy sitting over here just her and legend in the house. And then her dad says, go fuck you in two bedroom. Cause I feel like you in the four bedroom house right now. You don't even need all this space. You don't. Your kids majority of the time stay with their daddy. Girl, the uh, downsides to a smaller place. You know what, you ain't got to stress about the money. Or for the, for the bills and the rent and shit. Stop being so stupid. And behind the scenes, well, okay, I believe her mama probably tell her she too. And she don't listen to her mama either. That's why her mama probably just washed her hands and said, fuck it. Let her ask me a question, baby. Tired of talking to her. I can't help her. She wouldn't listen when she was with that nigga. She don't listen now. So it is what it is. Why you put her videos, you getting dressed to go out to the club. You get whatever you get. Your corner is riding your ass. You don't take care of your children. You let your kids get on camera looking a hot mess like you live do. But you get mad when somebody says something about it. But you got right here on this slide. Took your hat off, put it up in a nice bun, and uh, put them nostrils right up in the camera. Girl, get the fuck out of here. And then yesterday I found, you know, yesterday I found out something else. And then today it was just like, that this is it. I know they're in a bad neighborhood. At this point, it's like, I just gotta find somewhere. I gotta find something. Looking for it. I already, baby, I'm broke. Okay, she let us know. <laughs> it's confirmed. She said she broke, but we know she not. Bitch sagging and sagging, trying to spend everybody else money. But it is what it is. I'm tired of her repeating herself. I'm tired of looking at her ugly ass face. Tired of hearing legend in the background. It is what it is. Try on to the next video. Anywho, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace out. 7 p.m. Friday. It's 9 to 5 degrees. I ain't got no nigga, and no nigga ain't got me. I got to come through, and I got to get done. Boy, steady swerving. Looking them up and serving. Got to see and stop saying, pipe a kid that's serving. Oh, yes, I like that.